Hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a 55 degree, mostly overcast, Wednesday the 3rd of June. Little Kai Kai out there. She looks like she's about ready to, to bed down for a little bit, doesn't it? Love all the wildflowers out there. That's very beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like. What's it supposed to be like today, Madison? You're out of breath. You've been out there chasing rabbits. <laughs> well, there, little woman. Slowly but surely, the road is becoming <laughs> a divot. You know, I always say Dr. Pierce's barn is sinking and all the fences are sinking. Yeah, well, at the sinking. moment, our road is sinking. Yep. <laughs> I love all the... All the wild flowers out there. Look at that, ain't they birdie? <laughs> Start off a hump day. It's starting off great. Let's just keep it that way. All right, sounds good. Don't be causing no trouble. I'll try not. To. All right. Well, there, little woman. Yes, I know, man. Once again, we made it to work. We made it down here to Van Chulo. Yep. A little more blue skies down here. It's a little windier. Mm -hmm. Warmer. Yes. <laughs> All right, have yourself a wonderful hump day there, Mama. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the passings. Love you, see you, bye. Bye-bye okay. <laughs> now. Bye. See where we can get on this motor today. First, I've got a BMW that someone self-diagnosed it as a bad battery. I guess it wouldn't power up. I got an RO that simply said, replace the battery. So I replaced the battery, I was about to put the new one in. I said, well, let's see what shape this battery's in. Of course, I don't go over there and try to turn the bike on or nothing like that. Um, anyway, I tested the battery. Battery's perfectly fine. Um, this engine stand worked absolutely flawless. Picked it up perfectly even. It didn't kilter, swing. It just as if you just straight picked it up with something. Yeah, it was great. Did the whole thing by myself with the... Uh, Pitts Pittsburgh Harbor Freight tool. Although I had a problem, the uh, the base of the tool was too high off the ground, so I had to lift the spider and put blocks underneath it. No big deal. Lift the rear, put a four inch block, chalked it in the back, and then put four inch blocks. Come to the front, lifted the front. It was real easy to do, and just rolled it out one hand, one person. But the BMW, the battery is perfectly fine. It tested, tested good. Get some personal information out of the way here. So this is the battery that came out of it. Nothing wrong with it. So the bike obviously has some other problems. <laughs> we'll sort that out. But anyway, I'm taking the new battery um, upstairs because it doesn't need it. That's that BMW from yesterday. And that's a 2019 R1250 RT that has something going on you know I was in a rush was trying to get other things done I thought okay you want a battery in it I'll put a battery in it they were warranty in it because the bike's so new but uh yeah that's not the problem <laughs> we'll find out here directly that's how a new Excite battery from BMW comes all numbered and tagged I pulled it out and charged it and the tester oh look at this an RT Limited That looks familiar. Oh, look, it's the Chrome Edition. Look at that. It has differences. That's interesting. I love that chalk color. Wow, the Chrome kind of fits nicely on that thing. It doesn't jump out at you. That's not bad at all. There's your sporty standard. And there's your fully decked limited. That's cool. Well, I need to check on that rear panel. Somebody left a comment saying they got the rear panel for his limited color matched. And they heard a rumor that they're all going to go black at some point. They're not going to continue to color match them. But as long as there is a vehicle the same color as yours limited to standard that part will for well for 10 years anyway will be available 
So don't worry about availability because if that gets scratched in a crash or something like that, it has to be replaceable for 10 years. So don't worry about the colors. So I'm not sure if this is somebody's idea of a sick joke, but uh, there's nothing wrong with this thing. No codes on the computer. One of the things you'll get if you have any kind of voltage thing, you immediately get an ABS low voltage signal. The ABS seems to be the most sensitive to any kind of a voltage drop. Dude, I have no idea. There's nothing wrong. There's no codes of any kind. The only thing that, when I had the battery out, it reset the clock, which is an easy thing to fix. I have no idea. How do you fix the unbroken? <laughs> One of them life things, I reckon. It had to be a battery connection. But I can tell it was me that put this one together because of the way I dielectric grease them. And uh, the terminals were greased, clean, and tight. Look out, woman. <laughs> she don't even know that's me. <laughs> that's Jeannie. We all give each other a hard time. All in fun. What in the world are we doing there? Camping out in the Pro Caliber parking lot. Alright, we're green. Any runners? Just a little bit of a kick. Quiet down the, the wind flow. Look at this, it is absolutely beautiful out here. These 1250s are so daggum nice. All that power. What's really cool is the top end power they have, that big old rush at the top. <laughs> that is some kind of special. Look at this. How do you not love a day like today? It's gotta be in the 60s somewhere. I don't, he doesn't have his ambient temperature. I'm not going to adjust his, his system. Woo! How does this not put a smile on your face? Ah. So we'll be taking the old Speeder apart, the F3. I already know I'm going to see what I've seen before and I've seen in a picture. So uh, the reason it, or the, the question is, excuse me, why? And the two that we have in here, these folks are not hot rodders. I know the gal for a long time, they own ZF3 and long time as well with the folks that own the uh, RT and they almost always ride I think they always ride together they are not rough at all with their stuff super casual drivers I mean what in the world and then it's just like it's almost like it doesn't exist I can tell you it does exist. <laughs> I can guarantee you. Oh God, that wind flowing through my helmet feels so incredibly good. Wasn't it just like no time at all ago we were talking about, oh look, the trees are blooming. Look, the leaves are getting bigger. I haven't seen his, uh, his Harley out in a while. I hope he's doing well. It's 
such a cute little street and neighborhood. These quaint little apartments. All the people seem to be super docile and no craziness going on. <laughs> you know how apartments can be, man. They can get wild. Oh, let's drive down here. All the times I've taken pictures, these little truck bed converted to trailer things were kind of stuffed back here in the bamboos. And that old 10 speed. Dude, that's an old 10 speed, too. See, they took that Subaru and it almost looks like an old Fur Ford Courier or something. That could be a toy. No, I don't know. Which was a Mazda back then, those old couriers. Man, I just, all I can think about is just wanting to just turn everything off and just absorb all this. Do you guys ever get in those, those modes? I'm in that right now. And what better to do it on is this crazy comfortable RT. I mean, it just can't be any more perfect. I mean, just absolutely perfect. The weather, the ride, the scenery, even though I'm in the city. They got some green in the city. <laughs> Kelly and I used to park back there by that little parking area I just passed. It was so busy back then. We had seven, we have two service riders. And then Sierra, she's a, she's more like phone answering, schedule making, but she works as a service advisor as well. We had seven service advisors. Kelly was one. I was a service manager. And the seven of us would literally have five to ten people lined up at our desk. This was like 06 through 09. That's when that recession hit. And it all skidded to a stop. But, uh, yeah, that was the craziest thing ever. you never seen so many motorcycles. That whole upper service department and all down the, in the parking lot was just motorcycles seas or a sea of motorcycle it's crazy I think I even had some pictures I was telling one of the service riders about that and uh, I was gonna find those things and I couldn't find them back in those days I was dumping everything onto uh, DVDs remember we used to do that holy moly Talking about something hard to find. So man, as usual with a BMW, this thing just couldn't be any more flawless. I don't know why. What what the symptoms were? It wouldn't power up at all. It's like the bike was like somebody had stole the battery out of it. When I ride this thing, I kind of have this uh, GSA kind of feeling. I hear the motor. I mean, it looks all different in front of me. But the the foot placement, I keep trying to put my feet on the pegs, which are much lower on the GSA. Are you guys still awake? <laughs> We're in this old Tom Peterson furniture store there in Portland. You'd make that He'd like lean up and he'd make that tapping on the glass sound. His commercial, he ran his commercials like crazy in the middle of the night. Here's a little ding, 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 ding. Hello, you awake out there or whatever he'd say. This old military haircut. He had the old flat top, flat top. And he'd have these specials going on like on the weekends. Come in for a free Tom Peterson haircut. All right, thanks for coming along for the rip on the RT. I can now tell him to come get it with some great confidence. All right, back at her.
All right, so I've been back on the spider here for a little bit. There's the HCM, the hydraulic control module. I've shown you guys this before. Has its own oil pump, all the pistons and servos and all kinds of good stuff in there. There's the hydraulic clutch pressure module. This is all computer controlled. And there's your piston that creates an upshift and a downshift. And it just goes just as if it had a regular shift lever. It actuates a, uh, a shift just as if it was holding on. In fact, this sticks out of the spider. You can never do it, but it's set up for a shift lever. So basically, all I have is the alternator to take off. And then uh, there's several bolts around and transmissions off. I did this last year. You guys should be familiar with this. But it's pretty easy peasy. It'll be time to roll out of here in about 15 20 minutes. Got some tools to clean up. Yeah, I, hopefully, tomorrow I can focus entirely on this. Well, there, little woman. Yes, I Did you have a wild and crazy day today? Yeah, it was busy. She was a crazy one, huh? It was. Man. You get these nice warm Sunday, sunny days, and they come in droves. Had a nice little ride on the RT today. I eventually got to the spider. Oh, well, I just got a couple things in the transmission be out of it. So get that done tomorrow. I guess all the pieces are here already, so it'll just be take it apart, put the new pieces in, put it back together. Very. With the new pieces, that is. Very. Check it out. We got a freighter. We got a runner. We got a, yeah, we got a runner. Ooh, look oh, at them running. creepy old rickety looking boxes he's packing. Little short ones. Yeah, they're single oh. steps. Well, hello there, you two. Uh, dang. Man, we're coming home. It did it again tonight. It almost looked like it was getting rainy outside, but... It is windy. There's something coming, because the wind is a-blowing. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's stormy-looking. Yeah, it was. And now the the uh, rainy-looking clouds, it never rained or anything, but it just had that look. Now that's going away, and the wind's kicking up. But look at that bright spot I back that's there. that's pretty. Might get sun before the day's over. It's mm -hmm. just... A little bit after eight, sunset's almost nine o'clock. But anyway, so that was a fun, another fun day. <laughs> I'll get that transmission out of that thing. Uh, this is my goal. I'm just gonna put blinders on and just go there you tomorrow. Go. Yeah, bust it out. But uh, anyway, it was fun riding that RT. That was super fun and um, very relaxing, like crazy relaxing. I don't know. It was just that perfect temperature, sunny out and. I like them kind of rides. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that just sneak up on you. Don't expect it, and all of a sudden, just like, wow, this is like really nice. <laughs> but anyway, we will roll out on you. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. I had to think what we day survived it was. hump day. And, uh, it's a now it's on the downhill slide. Downhill slide to the weekend. Yes. We should call it an uphill slide to the weekend. I know it. <laughs> Downhill sounds almost negative. What's what are going you doing, on, Sparkly? Sparkly, go have No, Sparkly. Oh, Sparky, I Sparky. hear you over there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching now. Bye bye.